What is up, everybody? We are back. We have the VR6 here, and we are getting ready to put the intercooler on. Uh, I already got the crash bar off. I didn't like the way it was mounted lower, so I'm kind of cutting out. I mean, I shouldn't say kind of. Cutting out a big chunk of the uh, crash bar to put the intercooler mounted up. It's a vibrant 550 horsepower core. Um, yeah, I mean, it should be enough. I would say for sure enough. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of work cutting it up and uh, getting it to fit and everything. The intercooler piping might be a pain. Um, I'm for sure probably going to get rid of the washer reservoir and also probably going to have to move the horns uh, or just get rid of them. Uh, probably get rid of the fan relay and do an electric fan setup, which that was kind of the plan anyway. But what I got done so far on the crash bar. Um, or what's left of the crash bar basically cut it up. I got my vibrant Intercooler mounts here. Uh, just some with regular bolts mounted up uh, I have to do some more trimming because of the inlets and the outlets on the intercooler uh, They're too close to the bar to fit so I'm gonna have to do some more trimming and I will see you guys then It's got done uh, I trimmed it up the best I could or at least what I thought I was I think I might have gotten a little too carried away with the cutting probably a little bit, but um I also might have spray painted a little too soon because I didn't test it in between, but uh, it kind of fit before. It just hit right in here. Um, I'm not a fabricator by any means, so <laughs> it explains the cuts. But so I just wanted to spray paint it to kind of prevent some of the rust. I did grind it down a little bit, and um, so yeah, I was hitting right there with the inlet or the outlet of the intercooler. Same on the other side, there wasn't enough room for the boot, so I had to trim it up there a little bit, and we should be good to go now. I just gotta wait for the paint to dry. We gotta put the intercooler back in the brackets, and then mount it back up on the car. So I'll see you guys there. We are back in the shed. I got the intercooler mounted up. I did put pipe on both sides, and I had to trim a whole bunch, as you can probably see on the bottom edge. Uh, it's not final product. I will be coming back with the Dremel and cleaning it up. Um, but yeah, so you have to trim the edge of the bumper, uh, actually on the inside all the way around all the uh, all the inlet holes So yeah, but it did fit around the outside with the intercooler piping and It does it is pretty close right above my finger there to hitting the core itself So I'm at the trim that whole edge up right there with the Dremel and So that'll be probably in a part two of getting the intercooler all set up um, I'm gonna pull the engine and do all the mocking up. I don't have my engine, my built engine back from the machine shop yet. So I have to decide if I'm going to just boost this one and maybe if it blows, it blows. I don't care because it's not gonna be my main engine, but uh, I do have a spare engine there. Uh, that one's got bad valves or bad valve seals. It doesn't have any compression. Um, same as my old engine that's getting built. So I do have a second engine. I actually have three engines. You know, the one in there, one there, and one in the machine shop. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next part, and um, I'll see you then.